On Twitter, there are many people claiming that they gave you Pepe at $1 million market cap, they gave you Unibot at 100k market cap, or they gave you Pendle at 100k market cap as well. So only if you have followed them, you would make 20x, 50x, 100x. So I decided to actually go through my channel and see all the narratives I played into, I talked about and go through actual data and see how much you could have made if you bought at the moment I have talked about a particular coin and uh, sell at the very top. Of course, nothing here is a financial advice and of course, prior results, historical results are not indicatives of the future. I'm only trying to be educative here. So the, the most important thing to remember is that uh, it won't necessarily mean that you would get those profits, especially that for some of those coins, it's easy to buy even when the narrative is starting to unfold, but it's much harder to sell at the pro proper time. So for example, I bought Pepe pretty early on. Uh, I could have made 20X, but I didn't. I did like 5X on Pepe uh, because basically I sold too early. Of course, nothing wrong with that. We go, we go through different strategies on what you can do, but basically this whole video will be looking at how a narrative is forming, when you can jump in, and basically when you should exit and talk about different exit strategies as well. So let's get started. Again, this huge disclaimer here, I'm, nothing here is financial advice, do your own research always. Uh, this is on my Substack, on my newsletter. Uh, I have put together all the data and published it, so the link will be down below in the description. You can, uh, you can uh, subscribe to that. Uh, I'm going to publish more things related to data and statistics on my, uh, on my newsletter. Uh, so basically, uh, let's go through how it looks like. Uh, ATH means all-time high. Uh, but all time high after I covered the coin on my channel. So for example, if the all time high was actually before uh, I mentioned the coin, then actually I'm looking for the next highest uh, point. Uh, now X is the multiplication uh, that you, would, so the, the actual multiplication you would do on your capital if you enter at the particular day, I cover uh, this coin on my video and then exit at the ATH. So this really assumes that you market uh, the, the market, the time the market perfectly. Uh, and of course, everything uh, above one is a gain. Uh, everything with equal to one is usually a loss, especially if you compare to the now prices. So let's get started uh, and uh, let's have a look at what happens. So the, the very first narrative here was AI coins, uh, artificial intelligence. So that was based on GPT-4 launch. So GPT-4 was added to chat GPT basically at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year. And uh, by the end of the year, we already have chat GPT 3.5. Uh, uh, and people got very excited about AI and that excitement flew into crypto as well. And that's why people started to dig older AI coins as well as finding new ones. Uh, and I did my first video on January, uh, on January 10th uh, with larger AI coins. So this is what I covered basically. I covered uh, Singularity Net, Ori Chain, Fetch AI, Cortex Fala, and Deep Brain. Those six were all older coins. Uh, they were existing before this AI boom. Uh, and the multiples on, on them were pretty good. So actually, if you were to buy, uh, for example, Singularity, uh, Singularity Net on the, the day, I covered it on my channel. This was the biggest winner of the whole bull market here, the small bull market for AI coins. Uh, you, would, uh, you would do a 9x. Uh, even though, even if you buy at this particular time and held it till now, so 28th of, uh, of uh, July 2023, then you would still be profitable and you would still do something like 4x here, as you can see from the price right now. So this is really, this is really exciting. This is probably the, the one of the best bets here. And we're going to discuss that, how you can actually get it. But if you look at the other, uh, other shots here, then uh, for example, Deep Brain would give you a 5X almost. However, if you were holding it till now, it would basically, uh, you would be basically equal. Uh, some of the other coins uh, are also performing pretty well. You would do like a couple of X. However, uh, if you were holding till now, they would basically be pretty much stable. You wouldn't lose capital, but you would probably be uh, close to the same uh, amount. 
uh, that you put in, which is also a good news. It's not like a 50% discount. So when it comes to larger AI coins, actually all the, the things I covered were pretty good shots here. Uh, so, uh, the, and gave pretty good multiples, especially if you were able to shot around the uh, all time high. Uh, myself, actually, I uh, I have bought uh, Singularity Net on one of the exchanges, uh, but I bought it way before uh, 9x. I think I did something like 3x, maybe. So even though you know I'm super into AI, I, I, I'm, I'm doing AI consulting on the side. Uh, even though I'm super into AI, I still didn't manage to hold it through and believe that you know it could go to 9x, uh, and was happy basically with 3x. Uh, so. Another thing to, to look at, I did a video also on February 7th about, about smaller caps, smaller uh, AI coins, also covering then BitTensor a little bit later on, MacPepes a little bit later on, which was actually uh, MacPepes for AI meme generator, not the Pepe coin, which will come later. Uh, and also I covered Render Network, which is pretty uh, pretty big one, uh, but it's uh, more on the uh, GPU computing and rendering stuff. Uh, so. This is the table that I got for those coins. Uh, and as you can see, the multiples here are much, much lower. So even if you look at the price and the ATH with those smaller coins that I cover later on. So actually 7th of February was actually a week after I covered, uh, I, I covered more, most of the AI coins or actually a, a month after, I think. So if you go to, yeah, it's a month after because I covered those on 10th January and then I came back to AI coins on 7th of February. Actually, we're already almost past the ATH or very close to. So if you were buying those, uh, you still had a chance to get a little bit of the upside because you, you have those X's uh, like 30, uh, 34%, 56% uh, gains, but those were very close. And if you see what happens after, so if you were to hold it till now, you see that most of them are, are unprofitable and you would lose either like 70%, uh, 50%, uh, 50%, 30% or even more uh, from the current value. So I think only most of those coins lost quite a lot of value or are pretty stable. Uh, so for the smaller caps and especially later into narratives, you, you don't have really that upside. Uh, so it's also important to understand when it's the end of the particular narrative and the February was actually the end of the narrative for AI coins. Now, meme coins uh, were really fun. I really like meme coins because they are function of pure attention. I really believe in meme coins in the long run. And I think they are actually one of the best use cases for crypto uh, because of the fact that their pure role is to grab attention through entertainment. And I think the best comparison is uh, the way you compare it to like games or movies where actually the only utility you have from a movie is actually some kind of entertainment and maybe a little bit of education. And this is the the, pure, the utility of meme coins as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm super big on meme coins actually. Um, so the meme coin season started with Pepe on April 18th. Uh, then you have uh, Voyag, uh, and I covered also a bunch of different coins on April 19th, then Turbo on May, uh, May 5, Bob on May 6, Ben on May 8, uh, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10, Eno on June 4th. So that was one of the latest one. And then I have uh, Pepe 2.0 on June 30, which is like the third wave of meme coins actually. Uh, because you basically have the wave number one with Pepe and Voyag uh, and th those smaller coins. Then you had um, Bob Ben for the wave two and then you have Bitcoin and Pepe 2.0 for the wave number three. So these are the results uh, for the Pepe itself for catching the whole narrative. I was pretty much early because you could do as much as 19x. Uh, and even if you were to hold it to this day uh, from the moment I mentioned it, uh, if you see the zeros prop uh, properly there, there are six zeros here and three uh, and five zeros here, which means that it's roughly 10 X. Uh, even if you bought it at the time I mentioned it and, and hold it till now. So it's still like very proper, uh, very, very, very proper gain, uh, on pepper. Uh, now for other coins, of course, it's not so well with Voyak, you basically, uh, you, you're basically at the same price level if you were to hold it till now, but the, at the ATH, you had six, uh, six times multiplier and you have smaller coins like chat and cope, which basically were pretty unprofitable unless you sell them really quickly and they, they lost the, almost all of the value. Uh, you have aped with, which did a little bit uh, of uptick and then go down immensely like 90, uh, 95%, uh, 
uh, turbo did 7, 7x and then went down like 90 percent uh, bob just a little bit of uptick and then go down band it's like 6x and then go down uh, or pretty much stay pretty uh, well it's similar to the level actually it uh, it was because uh, it, it's around the same level or maybe even a little bit profitable now uh, the cool stuff is that the newest wave so for example bitcoin harry potter <laughs> sonic obama uh, 10, uh, 10 inner, uh, which actually gave uh, 10x and even holding till now is something like uh, 8x, 7x right now. So this one is pretty crazy uh, and also Pepe 2.0. So those are the newest narratives. This gave uh, 3x uh, and this one 10x and still uh, seems to be growing. Uh, so that was a pretty pretty good bet. So again, you can see that uh, a lot of those coins were giving really great multipliers. However, uh, it all depends on whether you're holding that team till now or selling around the ATH, or maybe there also were downturns uh, for most of the time. So you could really lose a lot of capital. But we're going to discuss what kind of strategies you could take seeing the results uh, of, of something like that. Now, another, strat another uh, narrative that emerged around February, but was quite silent at the beginning and then started to grow into June was liquid staking derivatives. So protocols that are built on top of staked ETH like Lido and Rocket Pool. And they, they primary goal is to provide more yield than just staking as well as give uh, more flexibility for, for all the users of the, those staking um, solutions so i did two videos actually covered pendle very quickly on so it was february 6th and then i have lsd5 video and a second lsd5 video on june 7th uh, covering a bunch of uh, tokens protocols non, not uh, all of them has their own tokens they other have some kind of a wrapped eve or maybe something else so i just covered here the and then Radiant on June, uh, I just covered the, the tokens that actually are uh, ha has like a token. So all together have five. Uh, most of them didn't have didn't do anything or uh, just have like a small loss altogether, as you can see, uh, holding till now. But th those are pretty stable coins altogether because DeFi is much more stable space than meme coins. So you don't have those variations like going 10x and then going down 90% down. Uh, however, Pendle did really a great run up. So from the moment I covered Pendle on my channel, which, which was 6th of uh, February uh, to, uh, to the ATH, which was uh, 96 cents, that was 20x. And even if you hold till now, it's like uh, 10x, uh, over 10x uh, still holding because Pendle became this pillar of the whole narrative. So this is what happens when you have the top runner. And this is the story of actually all the top runners because they are the the one that starts actual the uh, actual narrative so you have pendle hill st starting the narrative you have uh, pepe starting the narratives and here you have singularity net uh, which is the biggest uh, the biggest coin on uh, ai coin actually those did the biggest x so if you're able to identify those then it's the best to actually get into the leaders and win this way uh, because all the smaller coins are you know the second wave uh, is usually much smaller except for of course uh, things like small paradigm shifts so for example here you had uh, ban and bitcoin uh, harry potter sonic obama Imino, and also turbo actually they they were in the second wave they managed to do pretty well as well uh, so this is the LSD5 uh, narrative. And then we have the final one, the current one that I have just covered like a 10 days ago, uh, which is actually not, uh, not early enough. I actually had Unibot on my list for quite some time. Uh, this is Telegram bots, bots that help you automate order, airdrop hunting, trading, getting information in one place, there are a bunch of bonds. And I think like this narrative will be coming back a lot because uh, we're going to see a lot of automation and this also plays well into AI uh, narrative as well because if you add AI then of course you get different kind of automation as well. Uh, so the leading project here in this narrative is Unibot. Uh, I covered Unibot on July uh, 19th so like 10 days ago. We have Azure bots on July 18th so a day before that uh, Loot Alpha Friends. So we can see already what kind of results uh, we're having here. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the, um, uh, the, the what we're getting. Um, it's ba it's basically uh, Unibot doing two x since I covered it still and to to point almost three x since I covered it. We have Loot uh, doing two x. 
uh, alpha doing 2x uh, and the small uptick on France, but then going down. Uh, so this, uh, this is basically just ongoing narrative. So we have a couple of players. Uh, I definitely could have covered Unibot much earlier, but still it's not, I think, too late, uh, depending on where the whole narrative will go. So this is where we stand right now. And it's super interesting to see that you already have the leading uh, here, the leading player Unibot of the whole narrative doing uh, 284 X, so that's again the biggest amount here that you could see. So going back to the to the text, uh, you could see that yeah, we altogether we have uh, 30, uh, 34 projects. Uh, I have many more projects on my channel, so uh, not playing into narratives or playing to the narratives, but later on, earlier on. So I didn't cover everything. And of course, if you cover everything, then probably you have better or worse statistics depending on the coins and when you sell. But what I wanted to understand is how much you could actually make if you, for example, were jumping into all of the coins. Um, and for example, assume, I was assuming first of all that uh, the strategy that you're taking is, for example, you want to get like free eggs and once you get free eggs, then you sell. And if you don't get free eggs and basically you hold till the end and basically it's, beca it be it's becoming worthless. So uh, for example, if we choose to be free eggs, then basically uh, there were 12 projects that did free eggs or more. Uh, and assuming that you lose everything else, the profit is uh, uh, on 12 projects. So free times 12, uh, divided by 34 this is the number of projects so 36 pro, uh, t by 34 we get 0 1.058 so i'm assuming also that you put the same amount of capital into each of those projects that's why i'm not uh, divided uh, multiplying by any number of capital because basically if you put like 100 dollars into all 34 projects this is what you're getting so this is basically uh, you, you do three x on 12 projects and uh, on, on all the others, you, you do nothing. So in this case, you would basically gain uh, 5% on your total capital. So if you invest like $3,400, putting $100 into each of those coins, then this would be the gain. Uh, actually, very same the very same gain you would get on if you were to do 2x because there were eight, 18 projects and assuming all else is going to zero, you would get 5.8. Um, and uh, actually a little bit uh, worse results if you do 1.5x. So actually, if you decide to go with smaller gains, especially crypto is super risky, you wouldn't get in, in, crypt, in trading narratives this kind of a gain. You actually would do a loss of 3%. Of course, we're going to uh, revise this in a moment because you could actually add that not all those coins are going to zero. So if you put $100, then actually it's not going to zero. It, you, could, you can discount that, for, exa for example, to 50% and it would still be fine. So we're going to come back to that, that, but let's do, let's think about other strategy that's coming from the VC world where you have like spray and pray, but you actually want to hit that one unicorn. So in this case, you just want to go, for example, for 5X, 7X or 10X. And if you were to go only for 10X, then you had three projects. Uh, and you actually would do a 12% loss if everything else would go to zero. With 7x, you would do 2% gain. And with 5x uh, projects, you have seven projects, you would do 2% gain again. Now, in the real life, you also have, uh, so this is like the kind of strategy you don't have to think because you know, something is hits 5x, you're just selling, that's it. Now, but also in the real life, you have all the other tokens that are riding with you to the end. So it's not like everything is going to zero. And now I assume this is going to zero, but actually uh, you can uh, assume that you're selling all the rest tokens, for example, at this moment or with 30%, 50% loss. Uh, so meaning that you basically have a stop loss at 50%. So if something is going down in value by 50%, you just sell no matter what. And if something is going up in value, you only sell like at 5x or 3x. This is your strategy. So I'm going to calculate everything again. And you see that in this case, which is a very, very likely scenario, you actually have a pretty good gain altogether because basically the average loss of 50% would give you much more uh, room for error. So for example, with 5x, we have seven projects. So it's 5x five, uh, times seven. Now I'm going to add all the other projects, 27 projects out of 34 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is 50% loss and basically divide by 34, uh, all the projects I'm getting here, uh, 48, uh, 0 0.5 uh, divided by 34, so 1.42 or a 
2% gain. So this is pretty much a substantial difference. We previously had only 2% gain. Now um, adding all those tokens that we have in our wallet, assuming we bought everything, we actually have some kind of a gain, uh, which is much more substantial. And similarly for all the other coins, as you can see, the best results were for 5X and 7X. And then for 10x, we got 33% gain. For 7x, we have 45% gain. For 3x, we had 38% gain. For 2x, 29% gain. And for 1.5x, we had 14% gain, which is still something uh, which is much better than having a loss. So altogether, all those scenarios, all those strategies made you a profit. If you jumped into every kind of project, sold when they reached like 50% loss and then uh, basically uh, bought, sold, sold uh, or 50% loss or to get to the profit of the particular X. So of course, this is only crypto and because of the variation, this kind of strategy could never work uh, in, uh, in on, like Wall Street because uh, stocks usually don't do like 5x, 10x, especially not in a short period of time like that. And also most of the crypto do not do like those kind of crazy multiples. It's only about narrative trading. So it's only about identifying the current narration, current story early on and jumping in. So. This is, this is what's important. And actually this is, from my perspective, this is very similar to the VC world where you have, uh, where, where startups can actually do this kind of crazy multiples, uh, also in a pretty short period of time. Uh, and this is how actually VCs are investing. They want to have, you know, the best projects do, do for them 10, 20, 50, 70, uh, 100X, because this is what in the end makes the whole fund uh, return the money to the investors. Uh, and in this case, in the case of crypto, uh, this is also what makes so great returns. However, it's still about identifying the project correctly and everything here depends so on, on those projects. So this is a fun exercise. Again, uh, it seems like I've been identifying the, the project correctly for with the leading projects, identifying them also early on, uh, of course, because I, I just, you know, everything here is based on the actual videos on my channel. So you can verify everything, you can verify the prices, you can verify the dates. Uh, I really wanted to, you know, go through everything and see how how results are with uh, wh what I'm doing and whether it makes sense because I'm really huge on like narrative trading and I think this is like the, the best thing for crypto where crypto is this mix of you know having different narratives having uh, people attention shifting from one kind of tokens to the others and you really have to understand the social economics behind everything here. Uh, if you like this video of course subscribe to the channel I tend to cover a lot of new coins because new coins, new narratives, uh, they keep on coming. Uh, I review a lot of projects. Uh, of course, I wouldn't recommend jumping into everything. Uh, again, do all, always your research. Nothing here on my channel is for, uh, for, for proper investing. I'm never shilling, I only review. Uh, and I also reviewed, of course, very bad projects, very good projects. I try to be, you know, go through everything because uh, this is what I like and I want to go through everything happening in crypto. Uh, so of course, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Substack if you want to have more uh, more data. Uh, and if you want to have short pieces of content, then go to my Twitter and see me there. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.